This is a severe warning for Chicago homeowners, and this is the first time I'm putting a intro to a video that's about to happen. I watched the video, and I realized there's a couple important things I forgot to say in the video, like showing you when your area is about to get hit with a severe increase. If you are a Chicago homeowner, it's hitting in the next month or so. If you live in Chicago in 2021, and you have a Chicago address, that is you. Okay, so have you ever heard of property tax values going up from 508,000 to $1.4 million? Think that's impossible? To be honest, I've been having calls to the office asking me, is this a typo? Is this like, was this like a computer glitch? And um, what we did is a video where we hopped on the assessor's website and it's gonna follow right behind this. And we just go up and down pin numbers. Um, in the URL, the website URL, you can see the property index number. And I count up one, I count down one. And what we saw is disgusting, absolutely shameful. And it's gonna chase the middle class out of Chicago very, very quick. So even if you hate your neighbor, you've been hating that guy for years, you and him need to sit down and have coffee. Hey, let's meet out on the sidewalk. I wanna show you something. And um, the thing is most homeowners don't see the increase letter. It goes to the bank. Um, the homeowners that pay the bill directly, they see it. And, and a lot of them that see it don't even know what it means. So um, have you ever heard of property tax value of 478,000 going up to 810,000, almost double? Um, that's 69%, by the way. Have you ever heard of um, a company saying, don't do the senior freeze in 2021 if you're turning 65? Most of my competition will tell you not to call them if you're 65 or older because they don't wanna deal with seniors. If you freeze in 2021, if you turn 65 in 2021, you're gonna be freezing probably a 60 to 80% increase or worse. Um, ever heard of the property tax value going up from 398 to 1 million point one? 1 million 100,000 from 398? Well, you're about to see some of these things. Um, ever heard of property taxes? Now, now I'm talking about the actual tax dollars going from 8,000 to $22,000. You're about to see that. So um, please do watch the rest of the video. Um, if you got kids screaming, crying nearby, tell you what, now is not a good time to watch the video. Stop here. Got your best friend over for two years. They should sit and wait for you for about 40 minutes. I think that's about the length of this video. Yep, I'm sorry. And listen, if you don't care about your house and you've got a really fat bank account, who gives a crap? Stop here. If you've been hanging on by a thread and barely surviving like the majority of our clients, thousands of them, um, barely survived COVID, down one income or both incomes, burned up your credit or ruining your credit at this point trying to stay alive, then you need to stop all distractions, get in a room where it's quiet and watch the remainder of this video. I am sorry guys, but it is just that serious. And this is the first time ever I put a intro to a YouTube video. Um, and then at the end of the video, to keep you hanging on and make sure you watch it, I'm gonna show you where all the different townships and the dates that they're gonna get hit. Only two of them have been hit so far, Rogers Park and West Township. I'll give you a little tip though, Jefferson Township is next. That's all homes western to Cumberland and Lakeview, western to the lakefront is soon after that. All right, that'll be at the end of the video. Please do eliminate all distractions, get a pen and paper. I'm gonna show you what's gonna cause a huge shockwave. Um, I wrote it down kind of like a hospital um, does a QRS line, your heart rhythm. It's gonna go down and go way up, just like that. You're gonna go down on this next coming bill. It was supposed to be here a month ago because of COVID. And you're gonna be happy and your bank's gonna lower your mortgage payment a little bit. And then it's gonna come back with vengeance. Sit down, get comfortable, grab something to drink. Pause now to eliminate all distractions. And good luck, you are not gonna believe what you're about to see. Good luck to all of you. Take care. Hey, this is Angelo, owner of AppealUnfairPropertyTax.com, where you never pay a percentage to fight your Cook County property taxes, single family homes, all the way up to six unit apartment buildings. And this video is gonna be a very, very stern warning for any Chicago homeowners, but um, especially for two areas that have already been hit with new property tax values in 2021. That is the moral of this story. All homes are gonna get it in 2021, um, and those that haven't gotten it yet are gonna get it in the next month or so. But you need to take a peek, no matter where you live, at these first two areas. The first area was Rogers Park about six weeks ago. Um, the minimum property tax value they added was about 50,000. The majority we saw was about 100,000, and some even got 200,000. 
We have a video on our YouTube page going up and down the assessor's website, just going up and down a pin number. And we're going to do that again with West Township, which got hit a week and a half ago. And it is like nothing I've seen in the last, since I've started. I started this business when I was 21 years old. I'm now 46. And I've not seen any increases like this. This is just crazy. I mean, I've seen a couple random ones here and there, and there's usually something that justifies it. This is crazy increases for the majority, for the masses. And just wait until you see this. So um, they mail out a letter and most homeowners don't see it because it goes to their mortgage company. They throw it in the garbage can. Some banks actually start adjusting the mortgage now because they've seen that letter. Most banks wait until a year from now when it hits the bill unchallenged because they had no idea it was happening. Um, you know it now, you're gonna be aware of it now and you can do something about it now. And you can do something about it again at a second agency um, four to six months from now. If you're smart, you're gonna try it both because um, you do nothing, it's going to get really painful. So here we go. We're going to jump right in. Cook County Assessor's Office, whether you saw the letter or not, you can look up your house there again. And um, you're just going to go to, again, Cook County Assessor, not to undermine you. A lot of people spell assessor wrong. A-S-S-E-S-S-O-R. -S -S and because I just told you the company name, appealunfairpropertytax.com, if you were to type it E-R, you're going to end up on our website because we bought that domain, okay? So when you get to the assessor's website, you're going to click search right here, search by address. The first box is only for the number part of your address, 5525, okay? Um, it will not let you type letters in Google Chrome. The name goes down here, let's say Foster. I'm just picking a random address. Do not worry about the direction because if they didn't put the direction in when they were doing the data entry, it will not come up. If there's a north and a south address, just put in the street name and it'll show you both north and south and you can choose which one on the next screen. Um, so also if you're like on 18th street and not 18th place, just put in 18. Do not even put in the TH, just the number 18. It'll bring up 18th street and 18th place on the next screen and you can choose the one that's correct. So then the city of Chicago, then you're going to check this little box to prove that you're not a robot. And then you're going to click search and i just guessed an address i'm not sure if that's going to be anything really and of course it's not but basically your house will show up and it will look like this okay now this is a west township home okay and um it's really really crazy what's happening um west township if you're not sure what township you're in you'll see it right here this is open for appeals and right now you can see the new crazy 2021 values when you click right here Assessed valuation, it drops down, and here you go. This was 2020, 670, and they've raised this home to 940,000. Now, a nice little tool we like to use, percentagecalculator.net, 670, the number you were at, and the number you're going to, okay? If you reverse them, it's gonna be a different number. Calculate, 40%, okay, crazy. I know this isn't the 60 to 85% I told you about, but you're gonna see samples of that. Um, I'm trying to find a home for you guys that has a not too crazy of an increase because uh, I want to do a little bit of math with you here. So what does it mean in dollars when your taxes go from this to this? 940000 Let me make this a little bigger. Yeah, there we go. And there's a very simple tool um, that you can use on our website called your increase calculator. What you have to do is take your higher AV your 2021 and subtract your lower AV. Here we go, I'm gonna do it on a calculator. 90, now uh, AV, you'll notice, is very similar to the number right above it. It's got an additional zero because AV is 10% of the value right above, okay? So it's just really a number meant to confuse you, but when you fight your taxes, you fight the assessed value, you lower that, you lower your tax dollars. And that's what we help you do. Um, we provide an evidence file with your home on top and three to six homes below it paying less. Now again, I'm just subtracting the higher one. Uh, I'm taking the higher one and subtracting the lower one. 67057. 26,943, okay? That's the difference in those two assessed values. Now you take that number and your PIN number. Let me, uh, you can copy it here with the dashes. And if you'll notice, it's up here in the URL. And what I was doing for fun in the Rogers Park video, um, you have to leave the four zeros on the end, but I was just going up and down a pin number. 
and seeing what was going on in the whole little neighborhood. And it's just crazy. And we're going to do that in a minute here. But let's grab the PIN number. You can double click actually up in the URL and it highlights the PIN number. You can copy it there also. Now you're going to head to our website, appealunfairpropertytax.com. Right there, boom. Appealunfairpropertytax.com. And we are, again, five stars everywhere, family owned. There's 1,100 companies that do what we do. None of them are five stars everywhere. Your guy might be five stars in one place, but he's not five stars everywhere. How do I know that? I've checked them and uh, it's not that I'm confident. It's just that we're very good at what we do. And our database is, is key to that success. Um, calculate my increase, okay? You're gonna scroll down to here, click this. This page is gonna load, scroll down, and you will see two boxes. The first box, you can right click and paste in your PIN number. And then this second box is the number from the calculator, and I forgot it already. 26,943. And click Calculate My Increase. And it's going to pop up here in dollars, okay? This house is going up $5,400 a year. Um, about this, total savings, this is a tool that we have on our Calculate My Win Savings, and we forgot to change this text. So when the customer gets a reduction letter, they, go, they take their old AV and the new lowered AV on a win letter and they see what it, they take the difference and they see what it is in dollars on our website. So it's saying savings, but again, um, it's just a tool that calculates AV into dollars and it grabs your local tax rate from your area, which is why it needs your PIN number. Um, and it says savings up here too, but um, this is really an increase, okay? It's going up $5,400. Now the next thing you can do is if your property taxes are in your mortgage, Take up your calculator again. Escape on the computer calculator clears it. 5432 divided by 12 monthly payments. The mortgage is going up $452. Huh. I don't know about you. I don't know how many of you can afford a $452 increase, but I know the majority of our customers cannot. Um, I know my customers very, very well, and um, uh, I, I, I'm a numbers guy, and I know that a lot of people barely survived COVID, and now this is coming around with the second variant and it's lighting up the state again and um this is just so so disheartening right behind so many people having such a hard time losing one or both incomes uh burning through savings living off of credit or filled their credit already um ruining their credit trying to stay alive um it's really really disheartening so now you might be wondering you know hey well, you know what am i currently paying in property taxes you know i, I forgot what i'm paying great website for that cook county property info cookcountypropertyinfo.com okay when you get there it's gonna look like um let me remember this pin number again 1431215 it's gonna look like this throw your pin number in there and it'll bring up your house this house was now i just forgot it 1431215 i think 022 Yes, Joseph, okay, 2019 Walcott. If you know Joseph Cohen, all taxes are public record. Nothing here is private. You have the right to see your neighbors. They have the right to see you. Down here was his last full year, 2019, 14,167. Now, if you click this assessed value history over here, up here, top right, you'll see the new one, crazy, okay? Um, you can see what his value was in 20, the last few years. Add zeros behind here, okay? This is AV, so if you add a zero, I can see 2019, he was 736,000. Okay, um, it changed, every three years it changes. For him, he went down in 18, he got lucky, the majority went up. Um, if you check our YouTube channel, you'll see one that went up 116% three years ago in 2018. So they raised him, um, they raised him, okay, uh, at 736, his taxes were 14,167. Now we know they're going to 940, Okay, and the question is, um, do you add the 5400 or what was it? Uh, sorry, increase calculator. Do you add the 5432 to this? No, you don't. You have to add it to 2020. But look, there's only a half a payment for 2020 so far. The payment above is the first installment for 2020. It's the most recent bill that's been paid. It came out last March. It's 55% of the number right below. Okay. So now here's where it's really gonna cause a shockwave for Chicago homes. The bill that was 
coming, uh, the second installment was due a month ago. It's delayed because they're waiting for decisions from one of the two agencies you can fight at. Um, they opened four months late in 2020. They opened five months late in 2021. So they're pushed back. Um, now, 2020 taxes are going down. This bill that comes is gonna be delightfully low for most homeowners. Why? In 2020, the Cook County Assessor's Office granted COVID relief. So this is what's really gonna cause the heart attack in 21 because you're going down. <laughs> I say, I was thinking about this today. It actually looks like a QRS line if you work in a hospital, okay? Um, it's your heart rhythm. It's going to go down a bit. Everybody's going to be happy. And then it's going to skyrocket and cause heart attacks. Um, so let's play this one out a little bit. Okay. Um, how do we figure out the 2020 taxes? While you're here, you're going to take note of your 2019 AV 73, 689, and you're gonna go find your 2020 AV. Don't forget, this up here is 2021, okay? 2020 is not showing up on this website yet, um, but you can see it here, 2020. There it is, right there. So I wrote down my, 2020, uh, my 2019, 73,689. I'm gonna subtract my 2020, and this is gonna tell me how much my AV is dropping for 2020, and I'm going to take that number and I'm going to throw it into our calculator and see what it is in dollars. Here we go. I'm going to save this marker open because I keep closing it and reopening it. 73,689 minus 67,057. 6632. We go back to our little. Um, now, remember, j jot that number down, the 5432. That's, that's what you're going up. Now, here we are. Um, we can just refresh this page, and it'll bring the boxes back. Just right-click again and paste in the PIN number one more time. The number from the calculator, 6632. So before the taxes go up in 21, it's actually dropping in 2020 by 1337. Okay? So, at a glance... 2019 full taxes were 14. Uh, let me do this one, three, three, seven. I wrote down the dollar amount for that AV, the difference between, you know, that's 2020, okay? Take $1,337 off. We'll get back to that in a bit. Um, now, what I'm gonna do is 2019 taxes, 14167 minus the 1337. That's the 2020 COVID discount. Um, and how do I know that was COVID? Um, you can see it right here. COVID, okay? And it'll, it'll be COVID. And for some people who want appeals in 2020, it's COVID and your reduced value. So you, some people got like a double reduction. Um, that's another benefit of fighting. So now this is my math. 14,000 2019 taxes minus 1337. I'm going to do it on the calculator. 14,167, the 2019 total taxes minus 1337 should give me my approximate APPX. Make sure you write APPX 2020, 12,380. I'm sorry, 830. Okay. There you go, 2019 minus the 1337 COVID. His 2020 taxes are 12,830. Now, whenever you get the second bill, the yellow one, you can add it to the blue one and you can predict your next March. March has got one calculation, 55% of the year before. So now I can just take this number and go times 0 0.55, times 0.55. All right, and it's on my screen still, so I'm just going to do it on the calculator. Times 0.55. This is his first installment next March, okay? This is the first installment for 2021, okay? First install. 7056. Okay? 2020 first installment, 7056 in March. 
these crazy values that are out now, you know, they saw that you raised this house to 940,000. They land only on July bills, the second installment. And you can't predict them because you can get close, but you can't predict them to the penny because they change a new tax rate, they change a new equalizer, and they um, mess with your exemption values up and down. Those three things can cause you to go up and down a couple hundred bucks or, or up as high as 1,000, 1,500 when they're severe, okay? So if his new taxes are now 12,830, here's the good news. Let's go back to this page. Um, and you'll notice that top payment right on top there, okay, has already been paid. So they, you gotta subtract that much out of the 12,830, 12, minus 7791 equals, I'm gonna do this on a calculator. 12,830, that's his new lowered 2020 taxes. That's what we're, we're estimating it's gonna be at with the COVID relief, the 1337 drop. Minus 7791, his first installment. I'll move it over so you can see it again. It's just under the calculator there. Means his second installment coming out any day now is going to be roughly $5,039. So he's going to be thrilled. Oh, my first installment was 7,700. This one's only 5,000. Okay. And again, this 5,000 on the screen plus the 7,000, 791, just above me right there, equals the 12,830. We're, we're guesstimating for um, with the COVID relief, the 1337 discount from the year before. Okay. Now, at this point in time, the bank realizes the taxes dropped from 14,167 to 12,830, okay? And they lower your mortgage payment and you're so happy, you're loving it, okay? Now here's the thing. Remember, the taxes were 12,830. The first installment was 7,000. Uh, next March, 2021, first installment, is gonna be 55% of that 12,000. 7,000. Uh, I'm looking through it through the paper. Seven thousand fifty-six. That's about eight hundred bucks lower than the one just above me. You know, the year before. Remember? Okay. Now here's the thing. Remember, the taxes are no longer twelve thousand eight thirty. Why? Because remember, I told you to write down that magic number. Remember the increase? He was going up fifty-four hundred thirty-two dollars. Remember? So we have to add that fifty-four hundred to the 12,830, 5432. And if you don't remember, I'll show you again real quick. I took this number minus this number and I threw it into the calculator. 94,000, I mean, I threw it into the, yeah, the increase calculator, minus 67057, 26,943. I can refresh this page. Right click pin number uh, 26,943. Calculate. It's going up 5,400 bucks. This is a 2021 increase, so it goes up on top of 2020. Okay? So again, 2020 was 12,830 plus 5,482. 12,830 plus 548, I'm sorry, 5432. New taxes, 2021, okay, approximately, again, up and down a couple hundred bucks on the tax rate, 18,262. Insane, okay? And again, insane, why? 2020 was only 12,000, all right? 2020 was 12,000. 2020, boom, 12,000. Now, um, here's the thing. Look at that. That's plus the 5,400 bucks. He's at 18,000. Now, remember, the first installment for 2021 was already paid. We wrote that down a little earlier. That was this. This is the first installment for 2021. 
Well, if the 2021 taxes are now 18,000 and the first installment's only 7,056, anyone want to take a guess how much the second installment's going to be? <laughs> That's right. It's crazy. Um, subtract the first installment minus 7056. The second installment $11,200 by itself. That is crazy. That's July a year from now. Unless you get on top of this crap and fight it right now. Next July. Okay, and now at that point, when the bank sees that the taxes climbed from 12830 to 18000 what did I say, 262 The bank figures out the difference. And let me help you do that out again. 18,262 minus the 12,830. When they see that, oh, that's the 5432 again. When they see that, they divide it by 12. And like I said, $452 a month. So you do nothing, you get nothing. Um, you got to be on top of this. It's really, really sickening. Um, that's when the heart attacks are going to come in. Most banks pay that bill in July. August or September of 2022, a year from now, they're going to skyrocket your payments. So um, some banks are on top of it now. As soon as they got that letter, I've had customers calling already, and, and I apologize about our phones. Our phone has been blowing up for a week and a half already. Um, I wanted to have this video out, and I just do not have the time. Our phone rings about nonstop until 8 p.m. before we can pick it up to make an outgoing call. So our email's backed up right now, our voicemail's backed up. Um, but you can do a free evaluation form through our website. Um, when you're on our website, our homepage, you might have noticed it right here. Uh, click here for a free evaluation or scroll down and watch a video. That's our office. I love our office. It's been closed 11 months now because of the COVID outbreak. I have been stuck in Ho Chi Minh, Vietnam since the beginning of the outbreak. I went to the Philippines, a volcano erupted. By the time that delayed me and the smoke cleared, it was worldwide news that you don't get on an airplane. Um, I made a short flight to Vietnam and I've been here ever since. Um, I'm hoping to get my vaccine in a week. Um, this was a very safe country for one year. There was only 2,200 cases and uh, they closed their borders two and a half months ahead of everybody else. And I think that's because China is on one side of Vietnam and they were really safe until four months ago when they let in some experts. One was an Indian fellow who was positive with a new variant and it's lit the country on fire. Now there's over 200,000 cases here. There's over 3,000 deaths and they're rushing to get vaccine in here as quick as they can. Only 15 million of 96 million people have been vaccinated. So I am rather lucky. Um, they're also doing foreigners um, before locals. So I'm signed up to get it in a week and I hope to be home in a few months um, after that. Um, you never know where life is gonna take you. Um, there's also a video here, how it works plus our guarantee. Oh, I'm zooming in too far, sorry. Also a video, how it works plus our guarantee. You can also um, you know, get a free evaluation. This is where it jumps down to the bottom. Also, if you text us your phone number, our phone number is up there at the top right. You can text your phone number. I'm sorry, you can text your address. Please research. It's our business line, okay? It's not a cell phone. We're a real business. The company name is right up there again. You can check it. Facebook, five stars. Google, five stars. Yelp, five stars. And um, we're really good at what we do. On our website, you might also want to check out our videos page. There's Get Wiser videos, um, like don't worry about your description stuff, like unfinished basement, none of that crap matters. How Cook County tricks seniors. You do not want to freeze if you are six, turning 65 in 2021 and live in Chicago. I'm so glad I remembered to mention this because you will be freezing what you don't know is probably a 60 to 85% increase. Oh yes, I did promise you that, didn't I? Um, let me go show you some other homes. So what I did up here in the browser is again, I was just going up and down pin numbers and let me show you a couple that I found rather interesting. Um, let me go down to 014, I think was one of them. Uh, okay. I screwed something up. Heck, give me one second here. I really want you to see this. 1431 21501 uh oh 
oh, it was seven, one, two, three, four. Okay, I started at seven, which is Dickens, and it's gonna scare the Dickens out of a lot of people, and none of these look that bad, I mean, compared to some that we saw. Um, 900 to a million two, okay, you know, that's raising 300,000, did, three, did real value go up 300,000? Don't know. Jumped up a little bit to like 10, I'm just changing the pin number, the last two digits of the pin number. This is 1837 Dickens, 508 to a million four. Are you kidding me? This is like, uh, percentage wise, <laughs> 508,000 to 1,400,000. 175% increase, right there. Crazy, absolutely crazy, okay? Um, we calculated this one, or, or there was one more. There was a, another one I, I, I wanted you to see. It was like 389 to a million something. Um, uh, let me just go up a couple more and see if we can find it. 2011, uh, zero, zero. I'm going up to one pin number. You'll see, you'll see this pin number is just climbing a couple digits now and then. This is a single family home. This is a small little house, 203. All homes go into 15 different classes, age, size, and design. So the smallest one is a 202, zero to 1,000 feet. The next one's a 203, 1,000 to 1,800, and so on, okay? It just continues to climb. And the higher it gets, the worse the taxes usually get. Um, here we go, 491 to 550. Not too bad, okay? Now we're gonna keep going. Uh, 12. 2045 Walcott. Uh, of 211 as apartment building, two to six units. You can see how many apartments they have under characteristics. This one has four apartments. This one is going up from 478 to 810. Crazy. 478 to 810. 69.45%. Ridiculous. Um, you got to ask yourself, how much you got to raise rent when the taxes go up, you know, eight, nine thousand um, dollars. Just don't, they're not going to be able to do it. Um, so it's going to come out of their savings. Um, 12, uh, we're on, going to 13 now. Again, the pin number is just climbing uh, one digit at a time here. Sometimes I skip a couple. 2043 Walcott, again, apartment building. How many apartments? This one has only two. Let's take a look. 505 to 763, not too bad. Moving up a digit, 2014, uh, press enter. 2039 North Walcott, apartment building 211, still covered under our low flat fee, two apartments, 130 years old, 398 raised to 1,110. Okay, double would be 800,000, another 400 would be 12, it's just shy under tr of, of tripling, okay? That's insane. Um, we have a, I mean, we have a big, big problem in Chicago. Like, I, if you like, even if you don't like your neighbors, imagine if you lived where nobody lives. Like, um, what if your neighborhood became a little vacant ghetto? You got to think of it that way. Um, it, they are totally squeezing out the middle class, and this is just really, really sad. Um, it's it's going to be very, very, very painful what this does to the city of Chicago. And again, only a small fraction of you are onto it right now, and I need you to blow this up on social media. So please, my last two favors, join our, subscribe. I get it if you're not on Facebook, um, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Boom, your channel, let me go right back there, your channel. Um, this is kind of sad, only 423 subscribers. You know, I thought we'd have more by now, but um, we didn't really start pushing it until recently. Um, we chop prop taxes, one word. There's a subscribe button, click it, and whenever we post a video, your phone will tell you, and you'll always be in the loop of things. This first video shows you what the letter looks like, okay? And um, it's nasty. This is the Rogers Park video. Spent 29 minutes going around that neighborhood, going up and down a pin number. Um, but you'll, what I don't like about YouTube is it puts you here by our most recent stuff, but click videos, and you're gonna get a treasure full of stuff. Um, you're gonna see tons of happy customers. Um, this one here, down on the right. Um, uh, Dirty Little Secrets of Your Property Tax Lawyer. Okay, I'll show you another place you can find that video. Um, 
this was walking around um, outside my chiropractor uh, in Roscoe and two guys, you know, recognized my t-shirt and hey, oh yeah. We hey, I'm Angelo and I'm wearing my prop. <laughs> they drug me into a bar <laughs> and uh, they both signed up. Um, still customers today. So you'll see tons of happy customers. Um, this lady over here, Filipino lady, got $5,000 back, refunds. When I made the decision to get rid of our percentage for reduction, I also made the decision to get rid of our percentage for refunds. So um, all reductions 100% yours, all refunds 100% yours. Um, if you know you're being totally screwed, uh, you might also wanna join our private Facebook group, Cook County Property Tax Watchdogs and Pissed Off Taxpayers. It's a private group, so unfortunately you can't share posts here, but you can invite whoever you think needs to be in there and needs to see these posts. Um, we also post deadlines. Um, that was me and mom on the radio um, a few years back. We got some publicity. And um, yeah, um, if you join the Facebook group and you subscribe to the YouTube channel, you'll never have to call our office and ask what's going on because you'll always be in the loop and you'll always know. Last, about our company, um, about our service, um, you do not need to um, do a free evaluation if you see that you're going up 70, 80%. Because if you do nothing, you're married to it. So then I would just say, go straight to our Sign Me Up page. We charge 125 for one year, way over there on the one side, and we charge 225 for three years. That is our most popular. Our website is, our store is sorting it by most popular. And you'll see that right up here, top right. It's 40% off that way. Divide it by three, you're only spending $75 a year. And we also offer our premium service now. This was launched six weeks ago, seven weeks ago. It lets us file for you at the first agency. Again, your appeal windows can be seen um, on the assessor's website. The only thing I don't like about our website, when you add the three-year thing to your cart, it doesn't automatically load the store again. You gotta click this little continue shopping top left, okay? Continue shopping and then go back and add the premium service if you want us to file it for you. Um, for the additional $99, it'll save you a lot of headaches. Here's a couple samples. Two years ago, it used to be only eight or nine clicks to upload our evidence file to either agency. Okay, the appeal is yours. All the results come back to you, all the reductions are yours. We follow everything online. Last year, the first agency, the one that's open now, the assessor, went to like 17 steps. Here's why. They started forcing homeowners to register. And the first nine steps, uh, the first nine steps show you how to get a username, a password, and a lot of people are complaining they don't get the confirmation email. They had to call downtown, hold forever. They were told they typed their email wrong. They had to reset it. Um, if you don't want to deal with that crap, $99 solves it. We'll do it for you. And we'll usually do it for you same day. Okay? So um, if not, next business day. So yes, call your mother. Tell her you love her. Um, tell her you need a hug because you got some bad news today. But the good thing is information is power. If you do nothing, you get nothing. Um, one last video here, um, family videos, if you want to see that, that's kind of cool. That shows you how we, you know, the, the transition of going from a percentage and from going from paper to paperless, um, a lot of in the office behind the scenes stuff. Um, you will also see um, dump your property tax lawyer right there, okay? Uh, this is that video. And uh, this year, the one thing I'm just going to give you a quick sample on, all their flyers mislead you. They sound like only go down when, you know, only pay when you get reduced. And the homeowner's thinking, oh, I've been paying 5,000 a year, 5,000 a year. You know, um, he doesn't know that he's going to, or like that guy, he doesn't know he's going to 18,000 a year. If they bring you right back down to 5,000, you, you know, your taxes stay the same. You don't think anything changed, but he sends you a bill for 30 to 50%, you know, and it's just crazy. So, um, the first year of the cycle, the job is to soften the increase, not to lower dollars at all. My competition will not be that honest, but when they mail their contracts, there's no mention of the word dollars, it's assessment. So again, if this was your house, you know, um, you went to a million 10 and they lower it right back to 398. Uh, you wanna just see what this is gonna do in dollars real quick, one last one before you go? Let's do it. You know, you've been here this long, why the hell not, right? 111000 minus the older AB, 39,000, 844, 71,156. Gonna copy the pin number up here. I'm gonna go to calculate my increase. Scroll down, I'm gonna paste in his pin number. Gonna make this a little bigger for you guys. Whoops, maybe too big, all right. 
the number from the calculator, 71,156. This house is going up $14,000. So if a lawyer brings it right back down to 398, which they won't, very highly unlikely. Um, in most cases, if you're going up 177%, they're gonna lower it to maybe, uh, maybe they can, best case, they can probably lower it by 150. And that means the end result is still a 20% increase a year from now, okay? And they're gonna tell you they saved you $14,000. Let's say he got rid of all of it and brought you right back down to 398. He will have saved you $14,000. Are you prepared to write a check for 30 to 50% of $14,000? Because they're gonna want it. <laughs> so that's just insane, okay? And, and just for, for giggles, you wanna see what this guy is paying? Um, 1431, 215. 1431215. 1431215. 1431215. Oh, 22. Ah, I'm getting tired. 014. 1431215014. Stephen Richards. Okay. On Walcott. If you know him, he was at $8,000. 266 already and he's going up what do we say fourteen thousand dollars <laughs> oh man oh god this is just insane unreal plus fourteen thousand I, I forgot what it was fourteen thousand something he's now at twenty two thousand two two sixty six divide that by 12 months his taxes are eighteen hundred fifty five dollars a month um again a fourteen thousand dollar increase okay um, divide it by 12 months. It's going to raise your mortgage 1,166 a month. Um, how many of, uh, see, this, this isn't just me, okay? I know you guys might be bored or, or falling asleep right now, I, I, or maybe you're in shock. This is an apartment building. I wonder how many apartments he has, because I'm going to say how much he has to raise. He has two. So to raise the rent, you would have to do a $14,000 increase divided by two units divided by 12 months. He has to raise, I'll make sure I did that right, 14,000 he has to come up with, divided by two units, yes. So yeah, divided by 12. He has to raise rent $583 a month. Do you think they're gonna tolerate that? Uh, you'd be lucky if you, like I said, you can get $20, $30 out of a tenant each year, you know, without adding any significant improvements. Um, I think even if you added a swimming pool, it wouldn't justify um, 583 more a month. No one's going to do that. So then that comes out of your savings. And that's the moral of this story. So um, when is it time to say goodbye? A lot of you are going to be pondering that right now. Again, I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news. Um, I say we're not in the sales business. I'm in the information business. And what you do with it is now up to you. All right. Good luck to you. Take care. And please just hit the website, just sign up if you know that you are bad. If you want the explanation, want me to go through how much you're going down, how much you're coming up, and you want to take notes, we can do it for you, but it's just gonna, you're going to have to wait a little while longer for that. In this game, you don't want to get up on the deadline. You want to get in as soon as possible. The closer you get to the deadline, the faster they go to get through it, and they just say no to more people to get through it. So um, the, the results tend to become less favorable the closer you get to the deadline. It's two weeks away for West Township, so act now. Take care. And good luck. I'll be praying for you guys. All right. This is the bonus material. I promised you at the end of the video, what I noticed is that when I first watched that, I, I did not put in and show you the townships and the dates. So on the assessor's website, you can mouse over this right here, appeals. And the first choice, appeals and calendar deadlines. That will load this page, scroll down, and this section here is all of Chicago. This whole section, every township year, goes up in 2021 in the next month or so. There's more. There's 38 townships in total. The others are down here. Some of them have opened and closed. Some are open now. And um, these packages are going out right now from our office. Um, there's also TBD, to be determined, early August, late August. They used to show the dates in advance. And people would write down, okay, they're opening Jefferson on June 15th. And then they came back on June 15th, missed it opened it in May, 30 days later, it was closed. It's a 30-day appeal window once these values hit. 
when your area hits, and let's go back up to Chicago here. These are the two that got it already. Rogers Park got it six weeks ago on my birthday, actually, June 15th. It closed on June 19th. West Chicago got it issued on July 21st. Most homeowners didn't see the letter. Again, in the video you just watched, we show you what the letter looks like in case you did see it. Maybe you tossed it. Don't worry. You can go see the values on cookcountyassessor.com. It closes August 23rd, two weeks from today. Okay. And again, the sooner the better. Next on the list to be determined, Jefferson, all homes, Western to Cumberland, North, which I believe is above um, Jefferson's um, Western to Cumberland from memory, Devon to North Avenue. Pretty sure it's a humongous mass area. Um, then North, which is above Devon, um, South, Chinatown, all that stuff. Lake, Lake View, Western to the lakefront going east. Okay. And last will be Hyde Park. So you are going to get hit with the ugly stick. And based on what they did to the last two, um, Lakeview is usually the worst. So uh, Lakeview people, um, uh, I don't know if you're faithful people or not, but uh, I'd start praying. Prayer never hurts, my mom would say. Um, I pray multiple times a day, and I'm, I'm going to be praying for all of you guys. Um, again, these are the dates. Um, you want to sign up. If you want to try to come back here, let's say you're in Jefferson, and you forget to come back, and you come back in six weeks. If this opens tomorrow, you've missed the first agency. Four to six months later, there's a better agency, the Border Review. They were put in place 85 years ago just to overrule the first one, eight hours a day. The government's babysitter, for lack of better words, okay? Between both of them, with our evidence file that you upload to the county, we have a 95% success rate. Um, and we have a 100% success rate, or a 100% guarantee, if, um, sorry, I, didn't, I haven't drank in 41 minutes. <laughs> That's water. And I was doing Monster earlier. I know it's horrible, but, you know, I had to stay awake for this. Um, yeah, if, if you do nothing, 100% guaranteed, you're married to those crazy values, and you're going to be wondering how you're going to keep the house, and you're going to have to take a huge loss if you decide to sell next July when thousands of homes go on the market. Trust me, the long-term homeowners right now who've seen these notices over the years, they're on it, and they're packing right now. I guarantee you they're packing. So it's, it's, just, it's just crazy. Um, if you're a senior in a big house, don't have the kids anymore, you need to downsize. Um, our service also is fully transferable if you take another house in Cook County, against my advice. Um, and, um, he, you know, it's just, uh, you got to do something. You really, really got to do. It's, it's, it's on a, a downward spiral to a very horrible demise unless something major changes soon. So only 15% of people fight in Cook County, 85% do nothing. They're all, most of them are fooled by the description stuff, like the unfinished basement. None of that crap matters. Basements are always free. Surprise. You know, a lot of people think, oh, it says unfinished basement, and I've, I've got a pool room down there. Even though I did permits, I know that square footage isn't in there. Basement square footage is never in there, except for the bi-level, split level. Um, so you, you got to let us check it. You got to let us, you know, get you fighting uh, otherwise you know what's gonna happen, all right? Um, again, we're in the information business. When you sign up, you get very detailed reports. Um, it shows your house on top, three to six homes below it. Um, this is one of those crazy houses we saw, um, 2039 Walcott. It gets his taxes on a per foot basis, 111 a foot. That's the magic number to winning an appeal. That's actually the case reviewer's homework, and our database does that for them. The comparables are a little, um, more stretched out. They have a couple more things. We put in an age difference, um, showing the age difference between your home and the comparable. We put in a distance perimeter, showing the mileage from your house to the comparable. Doesn't really matter as long as the rules are followed. The first four are rules, same township, same class, same construction, um, same neighborhood code. Um, this house, only 26 a foot. Now, do you wanna pay 111 a foot or do you wanna pay 26 a foot? Um, whatever we quote you, if you do do a free evaluation, it's not the lowest home our database found, it's not the highest, it's the average, because that's what a good case reviewer is supposed to do for you, uh, one with a conscious anyways, um, put you somewhere in the middle. So um, yeah, um, just to show you what kind of work I've put into this video, these are my post-it notes. I've gone over, like, I didn't sleep tonight. You know, I've basically been up the whole time while you guys were sleeping like little babies. and. Um, yeah, this was a lot of effort into this video. So again, thank you. Now you've probably spent close to an hour with me. 
and I hope that it was worth it. I hope it was informative. Now I hope you do something with it, okay? The best decision is an informed decision. Consider yourself informed. Take care. Again, call your mother, tell her you love her. Who cares what time it is? Take care. All right, this is your bonus material. Again, we're a family business, so I thought you should meet mom. That's mom, bless her heart. She is missed very, very much. And I'm sure mom is praying for a lot of you guys also. Um, now, uh, this was that neighborhood I was in. And again, I was just going up and down pin numbers. And maybe now you're about to hop on and go up and down your pin numbers. Um, there was a couple homes I didn't get to show you, but I saw them soon after the video. And this is the real bonus material. Uh, I went to 19 on the pin number. Now remember, I showed you the property classes and I told you the smallest class is at 202 and it goes up, 203, 202, zero to 1,000, 999 to be exact, 203, 1,000 to 1,800 and so on. This is a 208, which is called the mammoth class in our office, a 208 and a 209. They're the two largest classes of single family homes. These aren't apartment buildings, okay? Um, you can see what it's described as right here. 3,800 to 4,999 square feet, and a 209 is 5,000 and over. Check out what they did to these mammoth homes. You ready? Assessed value. It got a reduction. It was lowered from 530,000 to 442,000. How are these value? I, I mean, th th that's almost a 100,000 drop. It's going down 16.6% when teeny little houses are going you know, um, twice as much as that, three times as much as that. Uh, so with, with half the square footage, I, I, I can't understand it, you know? So um, like, like I said, it, you can't see a trend in these 15 pin numbers, you just can't. Um, so anyways, when that happened, um, I, it's just me, I'm passionate about this stuff if you haven't noticed. It's like a knee jerk reaction. Now, now uh, there's an old Al Pacino movie um, where he's a reporter, I forget, he's like, you know, you don't piss off with people with time and money or, um, you know, when I get mad, I get, I get curious and I start digging deeper. So, and you don't want to make a reporter dig deeper. Um, so I went up a little higher and I made it up to 25 on the pin numbers. And let me show you what I saw here. Here's a little 203. Now, earlier in the video, you saw one and from memory, it was only went up about 50, 60,000. I remember showing you apartment buildings and there was a 203 and it only got a minor increase, you know, not too bad. Um, you can rewind and go check it again. But this one, 2044 Honor Street, is 128 years old. Ready for this? They raised it from 470. Now that's already higher than the, the one that's coming down, the Mammoth House, and it's going up 300,000 almost to 730. A little rule of thumb, write this down, your very last little bonus, 10,000 in value, equals approximately, in Chicago, $200 in taxes. Now, add a zero to both sides. Write it one more time. 100,000 in value is $2,000 in taxes. Therefore, if he's going up 300,000, 100, 100, 100, 2,000, 2,000, 2,000, that's a $6,000 increase when the mammoth house, just a couple pin numbers over, is going down 16%. Sorry. Insane, insane. So um, information is power. The best decision is an educated decision. I hope I've educated you. You can prove that by signing up. Take care, call your mother. Doesn't matter what time it is. Good luck to all of you. Praying, praying, praying for all of you. I hope you guys can make it through this and you will not unless you start fighting. Take care.